President Biden is asking Americans to lower the political temperature after the attempted assassination of former President Trump. The president addressed the nation from the White House last night. Trump was shot in the ear by a would-be assassin on Saturday at a campaign rally in Pennsylvania. Trump is safe after being injured, but one audience member was killed and two others seriously wounded. Trump will be at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, Wisconsin tonight. He sets to formally accept the party's nomination for president this week. President Biden says what happened Saturday calls for all Americans to take a step back and assess how the country can go forward from here. He says the power to change America should always rest in the hands of the people, not in the hands of would-be assassins. NTD's Jeremy Sandberg has more on the president's Oval Office address. It's time to cool it down. We all have a responsibility to do that. President Biden from the Oval Office on Sunday said we need to stand together and not allow violence to be normalized. Or we may disagree. We are not enemies. We're neighbors. We're friends, co-workers, citizens, and most importantly, we're fellow Americans. Biden says differences should be resolved at the ballot box, not with bullets. He says he's thankful Trump isn't seriously hurt and that investigations are underway. I spoke with him last night. I'm grateful. He's doing well, and Jill and I keep him and his family in our prayers. We also extend our deepest condolences to the family of the victims who was killed. Corey was a husband, a father, a volunteer firefighter, a hero, sheltering his family from those bullets. We should all hold his family and all those injured in our prayers. It was Biden's third Oval Office address since he took office. The president says he'll continue to campaign this week to make his case for re-election. Former First Lady Melania Trump responded on X to the attempt on her husband's life. Mrs. Trump called for America to reunite now and asked people not to forget that differing positions, policy, and political games are inferior to love. She commended and thanked everyone that reached out past the political divide for remembering every politician is a person with a loving family. The former First Lady wrote, Compassion and empathy are necessities, and it's time to rise above hate, vitriol, and simple-minded ideas that ignite violence. Trump will appear at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, Wisconsin tonight. The former First Lady is expected to be there. Jeremy Sandberg, NTD News. And former President Trump says he plans to call for a national unity in his RNC speech. Trump told the Washington Examiner he rewrote his speech after the assassination attempt. He said he was going to focus on President Biden's policies, but now wants to take advantage of the moment to unite the country. Trump says he turned his head to look at a screen showing data from his speech at the moment the bullet hit his ear. Trump says it was God alone who prevented the unthinkable from happening. He says he's been given a chance to bring the country together.